In this video I'm gonna go through quickly updated wire builder HDA for in Houdini. So first of all, I have took out some of the options, they made it more of a streamlined experience. First of all, for the wires, all you have to do is go to the wires control and select how many columns and rows you want. So if you want to do just a simple wire, you just rows and columns be one. But you want a bundle of it, you can make three or whatever. There's twisting options, normal options. And for the wire building, that's kind of it. So for the caps, it's the same thing. It is updated with the latest, the same one part selector as I did with the Pi Builder Toolkit, which is from ZBrush import node. It's going to take the subtools. Then with the part selector, you can just change the parts that you want, or you can use these two as your custom parts. So if you create your own ends for the wires, all you can do is go to the shrink wrap option and go to the cap input from the zero change it to one you can see now it takes a box as an input for our caps but you have a zbrush input just go to the zero and then in cap one and two options just change them whatever part you want it to be so for the secondary part there's no more secondary but what i have is just shrink wrap, shrink wrap option so for the shrink wrap all you have to do is choose if you want to shrink wrap if you want you can see it's going to basically create the tubes around the wires like that and we can control how many what's the resolution for them like that the height of it the how much of a resolution you want for them how many copies you want like that and once you're happy with it just go, click on this shrink wrap you can see it's going to basically wrap around and create a little bit of an extrusion for it so there are a couple of good options so for the smoothing strength you can see it's basically going to smooth it out just like it's Written that for the peak distance it's basically going to move the normals on inside or out. So if you want maybe it be a little bit tighter, just just watch out whether it's not going to clip out. So if it doesn't, you can make it a little bit tighter. But I usually maybe just leave it alone or whatever. Extrude distance is be just the extrude distance. There is output back, which you can see when we output back we have also inside some uh, faces but since we really don't really see it I usually usually don't use it but it's still there and the beveling on the sides you can use it to make it a little bit more or don't use it but for me it's I like a little bit of a beveling around the wires like that so all what I like to do is just uncheck all of them so if I want to shrink wrap I'm gonna take a look that everything wraps around that it doesn't if there's no clipping around then just use a shrink wrap and let's say let's make this a little bit smaller these caps let's scale it and then we can uniform scale it in maybe even rotate them for the caps let's move it in here like here and inside so the for the shrink wrap there is you can also ray around the caps so if you press on it you can see it's still going to also use the rays around the caps of it so you can get kind of this result but for this let's just Maybe use a little bit more of resolution on our tubes. So we'll go to the shrink wrap. There's a couple more rows. That now we're getting a lot smoother result. So we have now our nice wire. So for this, I like to use because we are getting still very good results with the tools before any UV unwrapping. So you can take a look and get the result that you desire, and then use the UV unwrap. And then when you're happy with the result, you can use the color for the ID map, baking, and then the UV unwrap, because we now do not have any UVs. Press on UV. Straight a bit, you can see we're getting, for the wires, it's going to be this. For the caps, the middle, and then for the shrink wrap, it's going to be the top part of it, like that. So now we have our auto UVs. And for the modification, if you want to do, it's pretty simple. Just go inside here. So some things you can change is the actual the the thing that we actually copy. So for the copy, it's basically very simple part of the copy. How many you want to horizontally and vertically. So if you want to cost custom, if you want to custom rearrangement of the wires, you just go here and point to your circles in different uh, rearrangement 
So maybe you want a triangle, just put, go in here and make it pipe inside this random rotation your custom shape. So for the random rotation I just added uh, for each loop so that it's every one of these circles are being randomly rotated for the UV unwrapping so it doesn't look like we have the same island if you look closely enough. So a little bit of random rotation. Hope you found these tools useful and see you next time and take care.